Hi, how you doing? All right, so here we go. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a corker of a day. Um, sun's out, um, there's people turning up left, right and centre here at the Freedom Festival in Hull. Um, and guess what it's for? It's for the finals of the British Street Food Awards. Again, it is just one of those days um, that I remember three years ago when we did when we did ours um, uh, down in London at Hawker House. It was tension all day. Um, you know, we we didn't sleep for three days, nearly four days actually. We didn't sleep just getting prepared for that final day when the judges are going to sit around the table and cast their vote. But more importantly, the people will judge as well and cast their votes in individual boxes around in front of the stalls. So I come up here yesterday just to have a little walk around and talk to some of the traders. Um, do you know what? It's it's amazing, um, the level of competition, but the, um, that's not what surprised me the most. What surprised me the most was that it's the passion and there's so many newcomers to the scene. You know, um, people like Archie's who've only been on the scene for less than, well, really since just on the pandemic, so about 18 months. Skullduggery with their ingenious way of doing desserts. Um, I've been around for less than a year. Um, but you've also got uh, uh, Fire and Flank, who've literally been in operation as a brand for less than six months. Now, that just shows that, you know, there, there is hope and there is a chance to fight free from this pandemic and actually show that street food really can help us get get forward and get ahead. Um, look at the crowds behind me, you know, you've got families, you've got everybody from all ages. Last night there was there was a group of um, elderly people, I'm going to be really, really polite here, um, dancing away and enjoying the atmosphere. Um, I don't even think there was any alcohol involved. Well, it might have been a couple of beers, but there we go. But they were dancing away and enjoying the atmosphere, and it's great to see. You've got music, food, you've got beer and cocktails, and you've got a really well-organized event. And that's what it's all about. So today, um, you've got 12 of the best street food operators in the country competing for that coveted title, best of the best in the UK. Um, and it can't get better than this. You know, you've got Bow Brothers, um, you've got the Paella guys, you've got steak, you've got dumplings, you've got Korean foods, you've got a mix and a twist of Indian, Mexican fusion, you've got Sri Lankan. It's just, it's just everywhere. You've got Mexican tacos and head to head, two, two champions from either end of the country competing against each other with tacos. And then we get beautiful teams like this. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> so this is Mary. Mary has been instrumental in making sure that the whole awards work perfectly. And, and she's gorgeous as well, isn't she? Look at those glasses. Stop that, stop that. Look the sun it. is shining in Hull. <laughs> We're all loving our life. So, so I'm excited. just telling everyone that they're, they're, all the competition, all of them are competing for the coveted title and yeah. tensions are high. But you've been around, the, the mood in here was amazing. Everyone's just buzzing to be here. I was just chatting to the uh, champion from Scotland, from the pit in Edinburgh, and he's just like, do you know what? This has just been such an amazing experience. And just being here today in Hull means the world to them, so. And yeah. I was talking about those dancers last night. Well, this is one that went out and danced with that, with that old group. So there we go. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to love you, Lydia. We're, um, I'll put this back on and we'll record all the judging and all the finals and the certification at the very end of the day. So if you're around the Hull area or you're in Yorkshire, get your butts down here now. Love you. Bye.